another Ants on a Rock video. Welcome to the Ant Corner. Welcome to my tropical forest floor, home to my awesome colony of Asian bullet ants. These awesome ants act as lone hunters as they stalk through the undergrowth looking for their prey. With one of the most painful stings of any insect, they quickly dispatch any prey they come upon. If it's a smaller prey item, the lone ant will bring it back to the colony to be devoured by the larvae and workers. If the kill is a larger prize, they will go and get the other workers to come and help them bring it back. Often spending time to bury their prize before they go to get the other workers. This is to stop any other insects or birds finding their kill and making off with it. And sometimes it just doesn't work. This dubia roach does not fit in the tunnel entrance. And they tried and tried for hours until they decided to excavate the tunnel entrance a bit further and they could finally fit it inside, never to be seen again. I bought this colony from the ant lady and I highly recommend that you follow the link in the description below to her website and check it out as she has all sorts of awesome ant species and lots of other stuff as well. She comes highly recommended on my list of ant suppliers. She always goes above and beyond the call of duty when it comes to customer service and she's actually a really lovely person to talk to as well and very helpful and knowledgeable. So if you're into ants make sure you check out her website. This tropical environment enclosure replicates their natural habitat with the heat and humidity I provide to suit this species. And a good cleanup crew of springtails and isopods to prevent any mold outbreaks and break down any decaying matter. They generally don't bother each other, but I have seen one of the Dimacama hunt and kill an isopod. This may have been a one-off, but it was still quite interesting to watch. This species of ant also really enjoys their sugars, willingly taking any sugar syrups that I put in and most fruits. So they're quite an easy species to feed really. Although they do have an extremely painful sting, they are a great species of ant to keep. I would recommend using gloves if you're going to be working with them inside the enclosure day because not just is the sting painful but you might have a bad reaction to it which will lead to further ongoing effects and issues from it. As long as you do these simple safety measures they're actually a really easy species to keep and well suited to a captive environment. Colonies do not tend to grow very large, with only a few hundred workers tending to be the maximum amount, unlike some colonies which will reach the tens or even hundreds of thousands of workers. Although they are good climbers, they don't seem to be that good at trying to bypass any barriers, and I've found simple barriers are very effective at keeping them within the tank making maintenance of the tank fairly easy and less regular. Another awesome trait of this ant species, which is one of the main reasons I got interested in them in the first place. They are a completely queenless species of ant. They do still have a queen and she lays the eggs, but they do not have a queen cast. Instead, they operate on a gamma gate system this means that all workers are born with the ability to mate and lay eggs. These workers will battle with each other 
over days or even weeks, using their antenna to beat each other's bodies. Until one dominant worker emerges victorious over the rest. This worker now becomes the queen or the gamma gate and she will proceed to castrate any new workers to retain her dominance over the colony. She will mate with several males storing the sperm for her entire lifetime to produce many many batches of eggs and when she dies all the new workers emerging will still be fertile and the battles will start again. If you have any questions at all about the species of ants or the enclosure that they're living in, feel free to leave me that comment below and I'll answer you straight away. And if you haven't already done so, feel free to press that subscribe button and even the like button as well if you want. Every subscription makes a massive difference to my channel. It's been growing really well and I want to try and keep the momentum up and increase the quality of my videos for you, the viewers. So I'm always open to suggestions and help. Whatever it takes to bring you some cool videos and good content filled with information. And that's it for this video. I've really enjoyed making this one for you and I hope you've learned something. And as always, see you again Ant fans.